Hey, what's up, everybody? The other day, a uh, Russian friend of mine was eating something. So I said, hey, what are you eating? And he said, oh, this is buckwheat. <laughs> and he says, you ever heard of it? So I started laughing. And I said, yeah. I said, I've heard of buckwheat before. I said, but here, over here in America, when, we, when you say buckwheat, we think about buckwheat from the little rascals. <laughs> so my, me and my other friend was laughing. So we, we, so I asked him, I said, have you ever heard of the little rascals? And he was kind of like, I think I have. So anyway, so we showed him a picture of buckwheat and they got me to thinking, right? I was like, okay, how far did the little rascals go back? And was there who was the first buckwheat or whatever so which led me to this guy Ernie Morrison Ernie Morrison was the first would you believe Ernie, Mo er Ernie Morrison was the first black actor to be signed to a long contract in Hollywood. I was like, whoa. <laughs> he was born in 1912 in New Orleans. And how he got into acting basically was Ernie got his start in films through a friend of his father who worked in the industry as a producer. One day, the producer friend asked Joseph Morrison if he could bring his son by the studio. Apparently, the original child actor hired would not stop crying, and they had pretty much given up trying to console him. Joseph brought his young son, and the producer and director were impressed at how well behaved he was. It was this positive disposition that garnered Ernie his nickname, Sunshine. His father would later add Sammy to the moniker. Ernie was later joined by three younger sisters, Florence, Vera, and Dorothy. His sisters would sometimes have bit roles in pictures too. And this guy played in... Uh, played with a lot of people. He did a lot of silent movies like he was basically the first little rascal. Uh, Morrison ultimately, ultimately appeared in two real silent comedies opposite both Harold Lloyd and Snub Pollard. Two of the era's biggest comedians. He was the first African American actor to be signed to a long term contract, signing with comedy producer Hal Roach in 1919, when Roach conceived his Our Gang series featuring child actors in natural juvenile settings in 1921. Sammy was the first child rec recruited. So 1919, Morrison left the series in 1924 to work in Vaudeville, where his talents were featured on the same bills with such up-and-coming acts as Abbott and Costello and Jack Benny. He also had a younger sister named Dorothy Morrison, who was an actress too. Ernie, Ernie had another sister named Florence Morrison, and that's him and her right there. So this is Wesley Berry. Ernie and Florence Morrison, Ernie on top, and Gordon 
Griffith. That's him in later years. They got him as the first black child movie star, but he was the first black movie star, period, from what I'm seeing. That's a picture of Hal Roach. That's the guy who did all those um, Our Gang of Little Rascal stuff. Another picture of Ernie Morrison. And they, they got Joe Morrison. Maybe that's his dad. Yeah, that's another picture of him with his dad, Joe. That's Ernie again. This is the silent movie, Little Rascals. That's him again. With the East Side Kids. And Ernie played a character named Scruno. Yeah, see? So after he left Hollywood, after retiring from performing, Ernie found work in the aircraft industry. And that is where he worked for almost 20 years. It's sad the way they describe him on this though. Uh, a lot of prejudice back then. I'm not even going to read <laughs> what they got on here, but anyway. Ernie was drafted and uh, he fought in World War II. And after, when he came back home, they asked him, they asked him if he wanted to um, be in a new series, the, the Bowery Boys, which I'm sure a lot of people have seen. And he declined the offer. Greenwich, Greenwich Village, 1944, starring Carmen Miranda, would be his final screen appearance. As far as movies go. That's Sammy's younger sister, Dorothy Morrison. She was in Our Gang Shorts, too. The Little Rascals. That's her now. I don't know if she's still alive, but i seen an article. She was 94 years old, so she could, could still be alive. She lives in... Just Southern California. I know we've all seen this episode of Good Times. It's called The Commercial. And this is Ernie Morrison doing his last cameo 20 years later as uh, the messenger. Last TV appearance, 1974. Andy Morrison died in Linwood, California, 1989, at the age of 76. Hal Roach was a cool dude because he put a he put a lot of black kids on TV back in movies, way back when racism was pretty bad. So, anyway, first black actor to be signed to a contract, long-term contract, Ernie Morrison. All right, I'm Big Brian. Peace. Bye.